Whoa, it's crackling. Colette, been a while. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been taking care of some life stuff. My son was born seven weeks ago, so I've been spending a lot of time with him and my other kids. And so YouTube kind of took a back seat. All right, so we're back. And in this quick video, I'm going to point out a bug, a really common bug for beginners. And that is that sometimes beginners will, for whatever reason, they'll try to write code in a uh, word processor like Microsoft Word or Google Docs instead of writing it in something like Sublime Text, which I have here. And what happens there as a consequence is you get a different type of quotation mark. And it happens to single quotes and double quotes. So here I'm going to show you with double quotes, but just know that it also applies to single quotes. And so in this really simple function call, we have console.log and we have a string and the string is denoted by being wrapped inside these quotation marks here. And you'll notice these quotation marks are kind of fancy, right? Like they, they're not just straight up and down lines. They kind of look like, you know, uh, little upside down apostrophes here and then up uh, right side up, um, whatever. I have the order mixed up there, but you get the point. So they are a little bit fancier and that's because these are like, I don't know what they call them, like proper English quotation marks, whatever they use by default in these word processor programs. And so then down here in the Chrome console, where we can enter some code in a REPL, read, evaluate, print loop, basically we can just input some data or some code and then it'll output something back to us. So in this case, if we copy console.log with this string inside of it, hello world, and we paste it here. Now, if we press enter, we expect the output to be hello world. Instead, we get this error message, uncaught syntax error, invalid or unexpected token. And so the unexpected invalid token is going to be these quotations. This first one especially, but the second one obviously causes an issue too. So what's happening here, if you look at it, you can see again, doesn't look exactly like the quotations that we have up here. It's a different font, I guess, but the point is it's still kind of slanted in two different directions and they don't look like the straight up and down quotations that you normally get inside of the Chrome console or back over in your code editor. So what we want to do is press the up arrow to recall the last line and we'll select that quote right there and we'll change the quotation marks to where now they are the ones we're just using the same, that's the thing, we're using the same keys on our keyboard right? But because we're entering them inside of the console here, or like I said earlier, inside of Sublime Text, then we get the proper code editor. I think they call them typewriter quotes or something like that. We get the proper quotations that are going to work for a string. And so now you'll even notice that the Chrome console has this highlighted kind of a maroon color. And that's because this is now being seen as a proper string. And so now if we press enter to invoke this function, we get the expected output. So again, this is a really simple bug that you could potentially encounter if you're a beginner. And that is that you've copied something or you've written something and then copied it from a word processor like Google Docs or a PowerPoint slideshow or uh, what we have, uh, Microsoft Word. And you've copied it and you've pasted it into your program, or in this case, my Chrome console and it throws this invalid or unexpected token error. And so if you see that, just know right away that you need to go back and change those quotation marks simply by entering the quotations inside of your code editor, a proper code editor like Sublime Text, or inside the Chrome console or your developer console for whichever browser you're using. So that's it, I hope this tip helped you today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I probably won't answer them right away because I'm super far behind on all my comments, but. We have a pretty good community here, so hopefully somebody will be able to help you. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you in the next video.